Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So I'm jumping right into this look and today the look that I'm going to be doing is this look right here. This look has a burgundy under eye with red tones and the top is like brownish and orangey. So I'm going to try to recreate this and I really love it except for I don't have blue eyes and I'm filming with natural lighting and I know a lot of people want me to film with natural lighting a lot more. And if you hear my cat, she is like crying because she wants to go outside and I'm not letting her because I am right in front of a big window so that the light hits me for you guys. So please keep on watching and we see how I curate that look. Bye. My eyebrows are already done and I've already primed my eyes. I'm going to be using my Makeup Forever Professional 3... This is the palette trio vibe and you get to pick whatever colors you want and these are the colors that I mostly use so obviously this is why I have it like this. Again, it doesn't have to be specifically the colors that I use. I know that what I use is kind of high end. It's not really necessarily what you need but this is what I'm showing you because you know, you never know what you want to create it. Really, really, really create it but let's jump right in. And I'm sorry because I honestly don't know the colors of these, so I'm just going to be like describing the colors. Brush I use for blending, and it's my 242 Makeup Forever Blending Brush. I love this brush. Super easy to use. When I blend my transition color, I always use a light hand, and I use circular motions. I've said this a thousand times. The lighter you use your brush, the easier it is to blend. If you're holding it in and you're just blending away really hard, it's not gonna do anything and it's not gonna blend correctly. but it has red kind of pinky peachy tones and in the picture it kind of looks like that so I'm gonna go in with the lid and I'm gonna take a darker brown color for my crease I'm gonna be using Hef Hefter Hef I have no idea the link will be down below on what the name is but it's just this kind of purpley mauvey tone I guess but I don't think I'm going to use brown just because brown is upstairs and I really don't feel like getting it. We'll see how I like it. But I'm going to be using my Face Secrets brush and I'm going to be packing this on my lid. And if I don't like how this looks, I'm just going to go get the brown. But I'm really being lazy. I guess this is... Nah, we're going to get... I need to get the brown. I guess this will just be the base for the color that we're going to be putting over this. Yeah, that's too purpley. And go ahead and take a blending brush. I'm using my Sephora Pro Tapered Brush and this is number 19. And I'm going in circle of motions in my crease. I know some people are afraid to go in here with your brush, but I promise you, when you come in here, it makes your eyes look a lot ovaler instead of leaving the color more on your outer corners. I noticed that I used to do that, and now I honestly love putting shadows in the inner corners of my eyes. Just try it out. Explore your regions on if you can or cannot do this. You never know. I'm going to be taking my Sudae Seduction eyeshadow palette by Buxom and I'm going to be taking beachfront orangey color right here and I'm going to be putting this over on my crease because I want that orangey look and I realized that this wasn't cutting it because I wanted it a little bit more orange. by Bobby 
Bobbi Brown, and it's just this really rich brown color. I love this eyeshadow. It's my favorite color to use. I love using browns now, and it's because of this. So I'm gonna be taking a flat brush, and it's just a the Body Shop the one that I always use, and I'm gonna pack this on my lid and blend it out into my crease. More darker in this area right here I'm gonna take the brush that comes with the buxom eyeshadow palette and it's just this kind of small packer brush taking hot or yacht hot or yacht I think that's the color right here and I'm just gonna put this on my lid but I'm gonna keep it focused on my lid not going up as much as and just kind of on her waterline just to deepen it up a little like with the colors I just got to put on my eyelashes and I'm gonna go ahead and do my under eyes and that's the main look of this all so we're gonna start with this red color in the palette that I have and it's by makeup forever I'll try to find the name and leave it in the description box for you all and I'm gonna be taking a blending pro brush this is 27 again by Sephora I'm gonna be blending this in my lower lash line but I'm gonna be bringing it kind of lower than I would naturally put it because it's gonna be the main look for this and I kind of want it really low taking that purple and putting it really really close to my waterline <laughs> sex mascara and I'm just gonna apply this on my top and bottom lashes the lashes that I'm gonna be using is my Ardell 152s for lips I'm taking a combination of two Kat Von D lipsticks one of them is Vampra and the other one is homegirl I haven't used these I just like tried them out on my hand and I realized I was like mm, let's match up burgundies right I'm gonna be taking homegirl first about my piercing and honestly guys I had to take it out and it just closed up and I didn't have enough time to put it back in before it did close so I'm gonna have to redo it again I was so mad because it was just perfectly healed and it sucked guys I know but I'm gonna be taking Vampra and putting it out <laughs> guys i hope you enjoyed and love watching it leave me comments down below if you want to see more videos of this natural lighting i kind of like it kind of dinging it it's a lot more fun and i really enjoy this kind of look and i hope you guys enjoy it thank you for watching and i'll see you in my next video don't forget to share subscribe retweet you know the deal love you bye <laughs>